So to start the day, I've made five questions about Amsterdam for you to answer. Who? You. <laughs> the rules are simple. Get three or more questions right and you'll win a prize. What's the prize? I'm not telling you. We're going to start the questions. Well, excuse me. No, there needs to be like some sort of like indication. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Question one. What is the population of Amsterdam? Is it multiple choice? No. Well, that's a bit unfair, isn't it? What's the population of Amsterdam? 20 million. Eh -eh. What is it? 11... 11,000, million. So did you honestly expect me to say that precise figure? Wait, how do you say that figure? Wait, a hundred... No, you can't see it because you'll see the answers for the other. Uh, basically, it's one one five eight triple zero. However you say that. I'm not good at math. Hang on, sorry. So you just asked me a mathematical question. I could have gave you the answer and you wouldn't know if it's right. No, I knew it's right because that's the number. That's the answer, but I just don't know how to say the number. But if I had said 11... 11, 11, 11. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, question two. How long would it take to walk from the airport to the central area? Three hours. Eh -eh. <laughs> Fuck off. Three hours, 24 minutes. No, sorry, that's closer to... So you've got to get the next three right to win the prize? No, that's... Yes. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Question three. What is Amsterdam built on? What? What is Amsterdam built on? What do you mean? What's it built on? <laughs> what do you mean? What Earth. is it built on? <laughs> is that your final answer, Earth? Well, what do you mean? Like, what's it built on? <laughs> Don't know. 11 million poles. Yeah, this there's, is there's I quit. I quit. You I don't care about the prize. <laughs> Fuck off. It's 11 million poles. That, trust me, that we need to read up on it. It's like interesting. You can. <laughs> Why <Well, I> already <laughs> did. <laughs> Question four. Leave me alone. <laughs> Question four. Mark is famous in Amsterdam because. Mark? Yeah, Mark. <laughs> Mark who? I don't know his surname, I forgot to put that Hang on, on so you're the quiz master <laughs> right. and you don't even know don't the surname the question. of the person Don't you're question the about. questions. Mark is famous in Amsterdam because... What's your answer? Prime Minister? <laughs> of? <laughs> country. Which country? Netherlands. Netherlands, correct! Yeah, not Germany, as you keep saying that we're in. Anyway, moving on. The amount of times this geezer has <laughs> said that we're in Germany and he thinks that the people here speak German. I they told you, I, was, I, didn't do, I wasn't good at history. Right. This is geography. Moving on. <laughs> Question five. How many bikes are removed from the canals each year? What well, does it matter? Because I've only got one right, so I don't win. Yeah, but you might as well just do it for just to do it. What, for the views? You can't just... You can't do it for the fans. You can't, you can't just end now. <laughs> yeah, I can. I quit. <laughs> How many bikes are removed from the canals each year? Two. <laughs> no. <laughs> eh -eh. That's not a, that's not realistic, you've got to be realistic. Sorry, I've got to be realistic, and yet you expect me to quote the figure 11,580. So the answer to the canals question, how many bikes are in the canals, is 25,000 are removed from the canals each year. Unfortunately, you failed. Better luck next time. <laughs> yes, yes, people, what's good? Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to... Oh, this is the part <laughs> where you say Amsterdam. And welcome to... Amsterdam. <laughs> I was expecting a bit more oomph. Babe, I'm very tired, honestly. First time lucky. And welcome to... Amsterdam.
So we have got a jam packed, or should I say a jam and peanut butter packed day today. And our first stop to wake us up, because someone's a little bit tired. It's a little bit early. Yeah, how early is it? I don't know how early is it. We got up at 10 to eight. To start the day, we're going to the sexiest place in Amsterdam, not the red light. We're going to the Sex Museum. Let's go. For the first time in history, we're early. <laughs> <laughs> we're 10 minutes early. Oh, he's teasing us. He's teasing us. Come on, don't pretend you're doing stuff. It's 10 o'clock, I unlocked the door. Oh, I'll just sanitize my hands. Oh, I'll just do the mop All right, there's more oh. people who started to arrive. We were the first ones here, so we should be the first ones in. <laughs> should we move closer? Oh, yeah. He's opened the door. So before we go in, oh, here we go. what are you expecting to see when we go inside? A load of a load of tits, and a load of Fancy question? Yeah, <laughs> got one right today. And we're in. First thing we see is him. Is it him or her? Oh, is it him? Can you not see the Yeah, sorry, I didn't see that. <laughs> That's a hand. She got like orange. Do you know like orange is in? Oh, so that's <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you've been naughty. So I can't really film that bit, so you were quite shocked by it. Do you want to try and describe it? Basically a woman's got a key ring on her <laughs> That out. <laughs> Sex museum done. There's one thing I would say is if you want to be wake, woken up in the morning, that's the best thing to do first thing in the morning. Would you agree? That's a pretty good way. Beach your coffee. Thing is, I was like a bit like da 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 about what I can and can't film because it was so. <laughs> Don't elaborate on what da 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 means. Yeah. The there were so many things in your face and like it was very like yeah. But anyway, Great. we'll see what, when I review the footage, we'll see what comes out and you would have already seen it by now, which is weird, because this is after that bit. Anyway, moving on. Can you block where you're going? <laughs> I'm trying to do here. more things at once than I can do and handle. So, oh, just help me. <laughs> we're on to the next adventure. We're going to get on the beers, son. Sorry? Beers, beers, beers. Oh, beer, son. Yeah, because we're going to the Heineken experience. Sorry, I just took me a while to understand what you were saying. Are you awake yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, we're on our way to the Heineken experience to get on the bevies and the beers. See what's going on there. Let's go. To be fair, I feel like we've done pretty well so far trying to navigate the trams. We've, we've only actually got on one tram <laughs> <laughs> since no, we've been here. Two trams, so two different numbers, the 13 and the 17. Oh. We're now venturing out. Yeah, you look okay. Now we're... <laughs> oh, that was confident. <laughs> now we're trying to navigate. Today will be, basically, today will be uh, a real test because we're going to be getting on all the different numbers and we don't understand if, if you read up here obviously we can't read wait what's the language here Dutch. Dutch we can't read Dutch so wait is it, is it sure it's Dutch I think so anyway if it's not Dutch sorry yeah so we should be on the other side of the road but having a little bit of a situation <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to touch oh. you. <laughs> Just suck it up. No. Oh. You're good at that. Babe, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's supposed to be family friendly. 
<laughs> PG, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we've got to find this tram stop. I, in... <laughs> but I can't see no tram stop on the other side of the road. Just That's the walk. thing. <laughs> walk where? <laughs> Look, the map is saying we shouldn't be going in that direction. Basically, we need to find the tram stop that's going in this direction. It says we're here, but there's no tram stop here, apart from on that side. Well, right, right. Yeah, so we... You we made us move <laughs> yeah. for no reason. But well, it's... make sure you get that in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> right, so basically, we were right. We were at the right stop. Oh, no, nah, you know what? Look, there's there's the uh, another track. No, no, it's not. Look, there's another tram stop up there. This is the side of the road that we need to be on. Back where we started. This is the one, yeah, 24. UUMC. So, the moral of the story is always believe in yourself and stay where you started and don't think and don't doubt yourself. It's so true what they say. Every single street looks exactly the same. <laughs> it literally, the trams, canals, the signs, the bikes, everything anyway i'm actually really proud of ourselves so far we've made it <laughs> apart from the little blip that we had just before and then how you fell over on the channel first all yeah. right and that <laughs> we've made it to the heineken place yeah just like that nice and smooth and simple You know the scene in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where they're in like... Yeah, but the thing is you watch the plastic one. No, like, yeah, the original. I don't watch that one, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so you haven't watched... So just to confirm, you've never seen Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the original? I've seen the one with... What's no, the, name? the original. No, not really. It doesn't appeal to me, it's too old. All right, we'll put it on the list. But do you know what I mean? It's got like Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory vibes. If I gave you a million pounds oh, here we go. to jump in there, would you do it? As if you're looking at what's in it first. Yeah, so I want to see how steep it is. It's not that deep. It's not, but it's curved. Probably I would break do it. a leg or something. I'd do it. And then I'd make you feel guilty for making me break my leg. But you would have a million pounds so you could buy a new leg. It's not quite how it works. <laughs> right, so should we bottle our own? Yeah. Yeah? Should we go in here? Yeah, she said go up the stairs, but why are we going to go up the stairs if we just sneak through the barrier? Oh, okay, grab it. Quickly, don't let anyone see. <laughs> Touch the screen. English. How to personalise your bottle. Like your text on the bottle, pay my credit for that. Okay, so what should we do? One or two bottles? Two bottles. Two bottles is five per bottle. Might as well do that. And then what? It comes out of there. Oh, that is sick. Look, you can see it filling up. So it's at, it's not like, this is not actually for show. Like they're actually making it like live beer. What message have you put on yours? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's not how you spell it. <laughs> oh my god, sub. Right. No, there's an R to see. Oh, uh, wait. S. S. C. C. There we go, got there in the end. Oh, look, there it is on the screen. Yes, it's being made. Wait, can you see it being made? Like runway bits, so stand at that end. You know when they do that, those like the shots. Yeah. Singing live, it's James. You're only strangers until the first cheers. Okay, pretend that you've won a goal. Three. Two, one. Yeah, your one was good at the bottom. That one's good. But what is yours? I forgot, I was doing no, like early. <laughs> right, so there's the ball. There's the goal. You're going, you're going, you're going. Oh, yes! Told you I'm mad. All right, my turn. These were the ones that we made. So they come in a nice paper bag. <laughs> and then really nice box. This box doesn't actually have what you printed on it. But then you get the bottle out. Right way. Hey, man like, man like. So now we're heading to, wait, where are we heading to? Wonder Experience. Yeah, the, the it's like an playground. adult kind of playground like with like a ball pit and stuff like that but this is the first time that we're not getting a tram and we're getting the metro which what's the metro like a train i think so like tube tube what well, the hop the hop the hop what's the hop when you said that i like walk with a hop in it okay you can ask the viewers <laughs> vote in the comments do i walk with a hop <laughs> all right go at the moment okay let me show you how you usually hop hold the camera oh, for god's <laughs> sake you're just gonna do an over dramatized version isn't he just so nice to me <laughs> that's how you do it i gotta be honest you said to me be honest that's how I it is like i shit myself <laughs> Right, well, I'm never walking outside again. <laughs> Do you want to get on a bike? <laughs> Do you want to get on one of these bikes? I've honestly seen, never seen, I've honestly never seen <laughs> so many bikes in my life. Everywhere you look, there's bikes. Okay, let's do a test. Look to the left and see if you see a bike. Left. Look to the right and see if you see a bike. Bike. Look forward and see if you see a bike. Bike. Look behind and see if you see a bike. Bikes. Point proven. Oh, 
and more bikes. <laughs> more bikes. Subscribe. More bikes. <laughs> more bikes. More bikes. More bikes. Yeah, babes, this is not necessary. <laughs> I think this is subscribe. More bikes. Yeah, no, no. There's a lot of bikes. <laughs> more bikes. I'm not even going to try and pronounce where we are because, yeah, I can't. But <laughs> we're definitely not in the city centre anymore. And it's so nice to like see like these are like what the homes. The yeah, homes. just like this is it. This is almost like what can we compare it to? Like just streets. Is this a street? Like an estate, like a housing estate. Yeah, like yeah, just like houses. Like it's all quiet. Dog walking, birds chirping, obviously bikes. But yeah, it's like completely different to like the central bit. So, we are on our way to the Wonder Experience. Now, to be honest with you, we're not 100% what this Wonder Experience entails. We kind of booked it because the pictures looks really good. No, no, no. James booked it because there was a lot of pink in it and there was a ball pit. That's why he booked it. Why don't you walk ahead? <laughs> Basically, we think it's like a big adult playground, like with a big ball pit and like... What else was in the pictures? I don't know, it just looks really, really funky. So we thought, you know what, why not? So that is where we're heading to now. Wonder. See, it's so like mysterious. <laughs> don't trip. Looks like quite a lot of people are heading there. It's quite a popular attraction. Wonder experience done. I didn't really know what to expect, but that was sick. Was it wonderful? It was wonderful. If you like pink and you like balls, <laughs> get yourself down to the Wonder Experience Amsterdam. That was so fun. It's very Instagramable, isn't it? Yeah. So now it's time for lunch. Wait, so what is it you've just found? <laughs> Just up, a ball. Up your, up your jumper. <laughs> well, we've travelled like two miles on the train away from the actual place. <laughs> got a ball up your jumper. You, didn't even, you didn't even notice until we got here. It's quite right, going to put it back up there. I don't quite know what to do with it. Put it in your bag, super there. Yeah, maybe actually. There you go. Got it in my memory box. So for lunch we're in Tony's chocolate bar, alright? We've both got toasties. And then the highlight, oh no, we've got jalapeno sticks. Then you've got a waffle. Waffle with ice cream. But this is absolutely amazing. Are you ready? Wait, let me shut the lid for the big reveal. <laughs> so you think it's a burger? 
but it's not just a burger. It's a oh, I'm open it. Look at that. It's a sweet burger. So I don't know what it is, but it's not like cheese. Mango cheese. Oh, it says mango cheese, cranberry, I think, a chocolate cookie, and cream underneath. Look how cute it is. So this is the feast. Tony's chocolate bar, Amsterdam. Let's do this. And now it's time for the sweet burger. I just have to capture every angle of this before I eat it, because I'm just fascinated. Okay, here it goes. It's good. I feel like the bun is too thick. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna eat it with one bun. This is sometimes what I do with actual burgers as well, when they're thick. I'll just put the cheese on top, and then I'll just eat it with one bun. So much better. So much better. That is the best sweet burger I've ever had. How many have you had? One. Lunch done, sweet burger done, full, yes. Now, on to the next bit of the day. NXT Museum, digital art. <sighs> and just like that, here we go. To be honest with you, it's one of them ones again where I don't really know what to expect. No. But again, the pictures looked mega funky. So, here we are. Okay, so just a quick update. <laughs> Basically, I just went in the ladies' toilets and did a wee not realizing it was the ladies toilet but basically as you can see there's no sign on this door that says toilets but through the door there's two doors which don't have any signs apart from the disabled one so i went through that one which actually is the ladies when i should have gone through that one which is the men's and then i was in the cubicle and i heard ladies come out so i had to wait until they came out so they didn't see me but <laughs> anyway that's over here we are NXT. What are you saying? I don't get it. It's yeah, like, it's it's a bit arty party. I don't understand it. So Some you know, of the views were good, but yeah. You know what it is? Some of the rooms were really, really good, but the experience on the ticket was supposed to be an hour and a half. It says it takes to go around. We did it in half an hour. Yeah. And we and that wasn't us rushing, but. They say that you're supposed to stay in each room for at least like 15, 20 minutes. But no one's really staying no. in the room for 15, 20 minutes. I think it's been designed so that when people are drunk or what have you, yeah. they go there. It's definitely funky. If you've been doing bits and pieces, this is the place to go because that is, yeah, that is it. But you know what? It was good to do it. If you want all the funky stuff, then do that. We're not even gonna walk back to the station because we had the mail on the way here. So Uber it is. We're now heading all the way back to where we were this morning because we're going on a boat. 
<laughs> what did you just call the evil? Bearing in mind it's that. Pyrus. <laughs> what did you say it was? Say again. Pyrus, okay, right. So, so <laughs> now you know, I said it Pyrus, the end, goodbye. <laughs> a, a Toyota Pyrus. <laughs> it's not a Pyrus, it's a Prius. Oh look, there's our Pyrus. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get in your Pyrus. How does it feel to be in your Pyrus? Yeah, it feels fantastic. <laughs> I'm actually really, really proud that we are once again early. I'm sorry, but how on earth are you finding your bike within this pile of bikes? So we've arrived at the place where you board the ship, I think, and <laughs> The gate Ship. is shut and there's only one light on and the door says no entrance. There's not one person in sight here and the ship looks a little bit empty and off, but it doesn't look like it's on. Okay, some more investigation has found that we're actually <laughs> we're actually at the wrong bit. <laughs> so we've gone on the app where we book tickets through, and it's told us the meeting point is is ten minutes <laughs> is ten minutes away, half a mile in that direction, and we've just been waiting here. So basically, since we got off the train, we've Walked up and <laughs> no When actually we should have been walking in the direction to get the ship from Which up is there. Actually, where we got off. No, we got off over uh, there. Same thing. Okay. Right, we can do this. I don't know if we're going to make it. You know. I don't. What? You don't think we're going to make it? No. It still says like half the way, it's 10 to. Nearly there, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. And we made it. Here she is. Usually they name every ship. Oh look, there's like little tables on it. With maps. So you know this is like actually more of like a sightseeing canal trip. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't know if we thought it was like a you know, relaxing, drink wine type trip. We didn't want to drink wine, so no. I thought because it was an evening trip, it would be more, you know, yeah, but dim the lights and shit, but we're going to be learning stuff, it looks like. Yeah, but we can just sit back and don't have to put the earphones in. All right, yeah, no, it sounds good. That was... That was nice. Cute. Um, that was a lot different from our boat ride in Central on the River Thames. <laughs> and just when you thought we were done for the day, we're not. It's now time to head to the last destination of the day. The... Ice bar. Perfect weather for the ice <laughs> bar. <laughs> and just like that, Amsterdam ice bar. This is probably the worst weather to be going in the ice bar. <laughs> like we're shivering and freezing, but we're gonna do this because apparently they give you coats and gloves. Let's do it. So before we go in to the actual ice bar, we've got two drinks. My one is like juice, but your one, it's battery acid. <laughs> Plain and simple. I think they put battery a quadruple acid. amount of vodka in this one and nothing in this one because it literally tastes like juice. But anyway, yeah, so this is like almost like the pre departure lounge before we head in to the actual Arctic ice bar. And actually, it's really warm in here, which they shouldn't do. They should make it cold in here so it prepares you for what's about to come. Anyway, listen, we're not complaining. 
Yeah, we are. <laughs> so we're getting slightly concerned because everyone has thick jackets and woolly hats on. And some people have gloves on, which are like theirs, but we don't have anything. We're just in sweatshirts and hoodies. But it does say on the website that you're given a coat and gloves, but we haven't seen anyone with that yet. We've seen everyone with their own. So, yeah. I'm sure we'll find out now. Oh, Johnny Death is joining us. It's one glass, and then one glass. Save your glass. I bring your glass back to me. Maybe after the beer, I have for you big shots and a semi glass. Sante, salute. Are you ready to drink, everybody? Yeah. All right, my name is Cosme. I be your bartender, captain. Inside the twice boys, minus 20, minus 20. shot of vodka coconut which the glass or whatever it is is actual ice and you've got a beer which is actually icing up because this actual cup is ice oh and also update we have been given official coats and gloves because i'm telling you right now it is freaking it's freezing too cold. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you know what's mad? We paid to do this. It's like we're doing this for fun. <laughs> it's a vodka shop. so cold we're gonna have to leave before the time slot is over oh. 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 <laughs> so we're now outside of the ice bar and it actually feels warm out here <laughs> That's how cold it was inside. It feels warm out here when it's actually freezing out here. I legit think it was minus 20 in there, but we had to leave before our time slot was up because we just couldn't take it anymore. I think the time slot was for like half hour. So to be fair, we had like 10 minutes left. But yeah, even with those jackets, to be fair, they need to give you Northies. Those jackets didn't do anything. <laughs> 27,000 steps later, we are done. We had to leave the ice bar a little bit early. To be fair, most people did. It was freezing inside. The coat they gave us was ridiculous. It might as well have not been on us. And the gloves were ridiculous as well. The guy was cool, giving us extra drinks, but it didn't warm us up. Like we literally had to leave. It was a cool experience, literally. Anyway, day done. So, thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, check out my other videos, subscribe to the channel. Peace out.